All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna to be checking out some PC optimization software. So a little bit of background. Basically, a couple of videos ago, I bought myself a cheap gaming PC off eBay for 250 pounds, and it turned out to be a massive scam. In fact, I'll throw the specs on the screen right now so you can see exactly what I bought. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty bad, I must admit. So yeah, I decided to make the most of it and make it my mission to try and get the most FPS out of this system. So far, we've run some basic FPS boosting settings, and that's helped quite a lot to make Minecraft actually playable. I've also tried to find the best Minecraft PvP client for this computer as well. And today, we're going to be trying out FPS boosting software. I've got quite a number of different optimization softwares we're going to use in this video and see if it makes a difference. If you're new around here, make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe if you're new. Let me know if these kind of videos help you guys out there with bad PCs. I think I'm probably going to do a couple of upgrades on this computer next. Let me know what you think I should do upgrade wise in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. We're going to be trying an optimization program called Azerite. So if we go on their website here, it's tweakcentral.net. I'll leave it linked in the description down below. It ensures your PC is running at optimal speeds. Then it goes and explains all their numbers, what it is. Twig Central actually hit me up and asked me if I wanted to do a video on their program. So we're going to give it a go today. And if you haven't noticed already, we're on my low end PC right now. So we're going to see if this actually makes a difference in some Minecraft. So I've already gone ahead and downloaded it here. Here it is as a right setup. So let's go ahead and install it real quick. So yeah, that was a pretty simple installation here. Let's go ahead and run it. And here it is, Azerite Optimizer. So as it says here, Azerite is a free desktop app designed to optimize Windows and increase FPS and decrease system latency. It's a pretty clean uh, installer here. So it's literally just one button. You just open it up, run the optimization, and let's see what kind of difference it makes. And yeah, we'll just let this do its thing. And now what we need to go ahead and do is just press restart. So this will restart our computer, do a couple of uh, Windows updates or whatever it's doing and uh, we'll see what improvements it gives us. All right, so we've just restarted the computer here. That took quite a while. It was just restarting constantly. So although the installer for the Azerite PC optimizer is pretty clean and it doesn't really look like it's doing a lot, it actually does quite a lot of stuff in the background, such as disabling performance hungry services, optimizing Windows settings, cleaning up temporary files. It also helps to optimize your software, your Windows boot configuration, and it also removes Microsoft's famous telemetry from the operating system. So yeah, let's go ahead and open up our Minecraft now. I'm gonna use the Notro client, I think, because in our last video, we found that that was probably the best one to use for FPS. So let's go ahead and launch that and see what kind of performance we're getting with this optimizations. All right, I'm actually excited to see what kind of differences this has made. Let's go ahead and open our single player world. And we're on pretty decent FPS, actually. Just let it load in for a bit. Yeah, we're getting a good 100 FPS. All right, let's just fly around for a bit here. See what we can get. Yeah, it definitely feels smooth. So yeah, the FPS is pretty good, honestly. It's uh, definitely made a bit of an improvement here. Let's go ahead and go on Hypixel. Hypixel is the real test, really. Let's have a look at the lobby here. Yeah, it's still still very laggy. Wow, the FPS in the lobby is actually really good. Like before, we were getting like really, really low FPS, but it's actually kind of smooth. All right, so I just joined a duel here. And yeah, the FPS and performance is pretty good, honestly. Feels a lot smoother. And uh, just get this guy real quick. There we go. So yeah, we're averaging about 80 FPS, which is pretty good. So yeah, the results for the Azerite optimizer do vary from computer to computer. And since mine is pretty bad, I decided we're gonna go ahead and install some more programs and try and improve the FPS even further. Oh yeah, and shout out to the guy that suggested all these programs to me. All right, so the next program we're gonna be using is called Memory Duct. You can get this off GitHub. I'll leave the link in the description down below. And what this basically does is cleans up your RAM. So if we just go through the installer here, pretty standard installer, and then just open it. So as you can see here, it tells us our usage, how much we've got available, our total, our virtual memory, and our system working set. And then if we just press clean memory, tick this box, and uh, yeah, it's quite a good little program. As you can see here, it's released 517 megabytes. And yeah, in a low-end PC like this, all the RAM makes a difference. Next up, we've got a program called Park Control. 
Now this is a program for your CPU. So if we just go ahead and install it all here, install all of that good stuff. And yeah, as you can see here, we've got it on ultimate performance here. Make sure you set it to the highest setting possible. Yours could be high performance, but I've got the option of ultimate. So I'm going to put it on that. And you have to be a little bit careful with some of these settings. Like you probably can blow up your computer doing this. It's not quite like overclocking level. But yeah, it's a good program to improve the performance of your CPU. So if we just tick this box here and then we make this ultimate performance here and then click on OK. So yeah, if we just go ahead and press OK, now we should have an increase in performance. And also by the makers of Park Control, we've got Project Lasso. So if we go ahead and install this here, we're installing quite a lot of FPS optimization and boosting programs in this video. So yeah, here we go. Here's Project Lasso. So this is kind of like the Windows Task Manager. It shows you all of the processes and stuff that's going on here. So if we want to go ahead and go into Pro Balance, we can enable that here. Go to our CPU priorities here. And then if we search Minecraft, we should be able to set the priority to high. So yeah, this program's a little bit like the Windows Task Manager, but with a lot more detail and it's a lot better laid out. And the last thing we're going to be checking out is called WiseCare 365. This is kind of like CCleaner. It just gets rid of all the junk and unnecessary stuff on your system. So we just go ahead and install it here. So you want to go ahead and go to System Cleaner here, press Scan. And yeah, like I said, this just gets rid of all of the stuff. In fact, it lists it all here, the kind of stuff that it looks for. It finds issues and just fixes them all. So as you can see, it's found 190 items. Wow. Okay, so if we just go ahead and press clean, there it is. It's done. Pretty good. We've also got a system tune up here, so we can go ahead and press optimize here. And if we go to PC checkup here and press on checkup and just let it run through its little thing here. Make sure you close any web browsers if you do run this. And here we go. Scan is complete. Just go ahead and fix all our problems here. And yeah, there we go. So uh, let's go ahead and run our Minecraft now. It's going to try and sell you something. So let's close out of that. Let's go ahead and open up our Minecraft now and see if all of these programs here have made a difference. So Azerite made a little bit of a difference. My game definitely felt a lot smoother afterwards. But yeah, let's try and see after doing all of this, what kind of difference it's made in game. So if we just fly around here. Yeah, we're getting about 60 FPS, just over 60, which is, you know, definitely playable. And before it was kind of fluctuating a little bit. Like sometimes it'd be 100, sometimes it'd be more, sometimes it'd be less. But this is actually quite smooth and it actually feels really playable, actually. And uh, well, would you look at that? We're getting 30 FPS in the lobby, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it's actually made quite the difference. Before it was just like unplayable in the lobby but you know i can walk around i can go to different things so my friends i think this is probably the best we're gonna get it i think we kind of capped out at about 120 fps is probably the most i've ever seen on this system and i think that's about as best we're gonna get it i mean you've got to bear in mind we're running off a second gen i3 with integrated graphics i think we've done a pretty good job we could probably play in windowed and get like 200 plus but we want to have a good experience where we can play in full screen, play it, you know, decent graphics so that they look good and you can also play and PvP really well. But yeah, obviously optimizing your PC, people are going to have varied results. Like you guys could do what I've done in this video and get really good in FPS improvements. I haven't seen the biggest increase, but it's definitely felt a lot smoother. And as you can see in this gameplay right now, I'm getting quite a lot of lag spikes which I think is probably something to do with the high performance settings and all the stress on my CPU just uh, trying to play Minecraft. But yeah, anyway, let me know in the comments down below what kind of upgrades you want me to see do to this PC. I'm also going to try and mess around and install some different operating systems on this computer as well, if you guys want to see that. There's various versions of edited Windows 10, which I might try on this computer, or I might just go straight to Arch Linux I know a lot of people want me to install Arch on this. So yeah, that's definitely going to be a video that I'm going to be doing. So make sure you guys get subscribed and look out for that. But yeah, that's going to be the video, guys. I hope you guys all enjoy this series and happy new year to everyone. I know I've been pretty late on this upload. I was working on it last week, but I got sidetracked. Yeah, thank you guys all for watching and uh, yeah, peace.